Have you ever wondered what the percent of calcium and the percent of phosphorus is in calcium phosphide? I haven't either, but that's what we're going to do. So first step is to find the total mass of the compound. Here, take a look. Here's a table. Bam. So the first thing is I'm going to write down the particular element or the elements that I see. So I have calcium in calcium phosphide and phosphorus. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. This is where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of calcium here is a three. That means we have three calcium atoms and then we have two phosphorus. Cool. This also, by the way, could represent the number of moles as well. All right. But it doesn't really matter. Atoms are you know, atoms are moles, tomato, tomato. If you're calculating molar mass, technically this would be number of moles, but all the math here will work out the same. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take those numbers that we just found and multiply by the mass of each particular element that's found in the periodic table. All right. So let's take a look. So the mass of calcium here is about 40.08 and the mass of phosphorus is about 30.97. Those, the magnitudes of those numbers are identical, no matter if you're calculating molar mass or molecular mass. If it's molar mass, the units are just in terms of grams per mole, and molecular mass then will be in terms of AMU. All right, so let's write that down. So here for calcium, we got 40.08, and here we have 30.97 for phosphorus. Then all we're simply going to do is, was it 0.97? Yeah, 0.97. Cool, just had to double check. Then the total mass of the element... Now uh, we're going to simply multiply this row on a cross. All right, so 40.08 times 3 is going to work out to be about 120.24, I think. And then here, 30.97 times 2 should work out to be about 61.94. And then to find the total mass now of the entire compound, literally just add this column together. Add up all the totals of each particular element. And that should work out to be now 182.18. So this was the first step of finding now the percent composition of each element we had to find the total mass all right now that we have the total mass let's add another column to this table and the rest is very very simple bam so now to find the mass percent of calcium or aka the percent composition of calcium just simply take the total mass of that calcium not its molar mass or its molecular mass the total mass okay 120.24 and then divide it now by the total mass of the entire compound hence why that's what we had to calculate first so 182.18 then simply take that and multiply it by 100. And the reason why you're doing this is because this is literally a simple percent calculation. Part over whole times 100. Easy peasy. Now when we do this, right, when we do the division, it's going to be 66.00, almost on the dot, interestingly enough. So it's about 66% calcium. And then phosphorus. Now you could subtract this value from 100 to find the value of phosphorus, but maybe you made a mistake here and you don't want the mistake to propagate into phosphorus. So what I'm going to suggest you do is you take the total mass of that element, 61.94, then divide it by the total mass of that compound, 182.18 times 100. Make sure the math works out nicely. And it actually does, right? In terms of rounding, this will work out to be 34% basically. All right, and that's that. When you add those two together, what should you get? You should get a result of 100%, which it is. So we're good to go. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. Check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of solved solutions out there. Physics, uh, chemistry, we're going through both the OpenStax textbooks. Uh, they're totally free, by the way. Even if you're not using those textbooks, they're fantastic textbooks. And uh, we go through all the problems in the book. So you have solved solutions. No matter what class you're taking, if you're taking AP Chem, AP Physics, College Physics, right? Uh, college chemistry, doesn't matter. High school, even high school. Uh, also, uh, they definitely be able to help. All right. So thank you so much. And I'll see you soon or talk to you soon. Or maybe not. <laughs>